So governments tell us, if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. Why should you be concerned about government surveillance, Bruce? Well, I mean, that, that's ridiculous on the face of it. Those same government officials who say that don't tell you all of their secrets, give you copies of all of their emails and correspondence. Privacy is not about something to hide. Privacy isn't something that you only have if you're a criminal. Privacy is about individual autonomy. It's about presenting yourself to the world. It's about being in charge of what you say about yourself and what you reveal about yourself. When we're, when we're private, we have control of our, of our person. When we're exposed, when we're surveilled, we're stripped of that control, we're stripped of that freedom. We don't feel secure. We don't feel like we have something to hide. We feel like we're under the microscope. We feel like prey. Privacy is a fundamental human need, and it's not about something to hide. I think it's a very wrong characterization, and we should fight it at every opportunity. But what can people do? Uh, what are the options for those who don't want to go with the tide? You know, this is very difficult. I mean, I can tell you things like don't carry a cell phone and don't use email, don't be on Facebook. In a lot of ways, that's ridiculous advice. Those are the tools of of, of society, and we need them to be fully functioning members of society. At this point, the problems are political and social, and we need political change. What people should do now is observe surveillance and talk about surveillance. Right? This needs to be an issue in the next election. This needs to be an issue people care about it. And the more we talk about it and make it an issue, the more we'll get changed.